All right, so long. Before I get started, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechapudash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to all the elders and apostles out there that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also like to give double honors to the head and the elder of the man of Israel, Count Chazat, whom I teach under, down here in Greenville, South Carolina. I also like to give another shout out to you, sincere Akim, you uh, brothers out there that's pushing this truth and all sincerity and righteousness in these last days. And I also like to give another shout out to you, Israelite foreigners, that's looking like the other heathen nations causing confusion. Coming back to y'all heritage in these last days. And another quick shout out to you, if you out with them, you sisters out there that stand in order and doing what y'all need to do in these last days. All right, to y'all, like, say Shalom. All right, now coming back through the spring of power, you have by Shin Yahweh Shah with another quick exhortation video. And um, I want to do my Psalms of the Day video. All right, where I pick one scripture out of the book of Psalms and um, break it down. And Lord willing, Yahweh Ratazai be edifying. To you, uh, Akim and Atwatium that's tuning in with your you brothers and sisters. All right, so the scripture I chose was, was in the book of Psalms 143 and verse 12. It's like, yeah. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 143 and verse 12. And it says, And of thy mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant, man. You see that? And this is King David talking, man. All right, and like I said, man. Lord willing, we'd be out of the house of David. And we coming in that same spirit. King David was coming in, man. All right, we want them, uh, we want them, we want the Lord to destroy all these niggas, man. Whether they are the heathen nations or even two-thirds of our people. We want the Lord to destroy them. Why? Because it just said, you know, thy mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, man. Now let's, uh, get that word afflicted, man. Um... Oh, the Hebrew, I'm tripping. Let's get that word afflicted, man. Because we want the Lord to afflict all, we want the Lord to destroy all those niggas that's afflicting us, man, man, in these last days, man. All right. Strong's H, 6887. Tsarer. Tsarer. All right, we're going to get this uh, definition right here. Um... It says to show hostility towards, treat with, with enmity, vex, harass, and that, who's harassing us, man? More so Esau, Edom, but as well as two thirds of our people, man, the other heathen nations, man. They harass us every day, man. Vexes us in the spirit, man. Every day we got whether we're going to the plantation, or whether we're going to the highways and byways, man. They vexes our spirit. They 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 uh, harass us, man. Call us bombs, right? Call us crazy, right? Even trying to put their hands on us, man. They're afflicting our souls every day, man. Whether if it's in the spirit or whether it's physically, man. Even mentally, man. You know, Esau, you know, we got to go to work for Esau. And it, it fucks with our mental because we got to work for this damn devil, right? The sp our spirits be tired because, you know, uh, our spirits just be tired of just the bullshit that's going on. It vexes our spirit, man. You know, well, we be physically tired because of work, you know, got to deal with niggas, you know, got to deal with Esau, you know, the so-called white man. You know, this shit is vexing uh, to the spirit, man. And we want the Lord to destroy all those niggas that's giving us trouble, man, that's giving us hell, man. Coon-ass jakes, man, you know. We want the Lord to destroy all you niggas, man. And we waiting for the Lord uh, to destroy y'all, man. And like King David said, for I am thy servant. And guess what? You fucking with the Lord's servants, guess what? The Lord said it was better for a millstone to be hung around your neck, man. You know, the Lord said it was better for a millstone, man. You know how big a, a millstone is? Just look it up, man. Look up a millstone. Imagine that around your neck, man. The Lord said it was better for you to hang a millstone on your neck and you dive and you jump in the sea, man. And you ain't coming back up when you uh, put a millstone on your neck and you jump in the sea. You ain't coming back up, man. You ain't no damn Superman, man. You ain't got spiritual power. So you ain't coming back up, man. So the Lord said it was better for you to do that than for you to uh, uh, to fuck with his prophets, man. You know? So you fucking with the Lord's prophets, man, you're going to have hell to pay, man. You know, you're going to have hell to pay, man. So let's read that again. Psalms 143 and 12. You know, that mercy 
cut off my enemies and destroy all of them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, man. The Lord's gonna destroy all you niggas out there, man. Right? You two third niggas that, that that's uh that's uh oh shit down B. Trying not to move. It was down B or a waltz beside me. I'm trying not to move so he won't sting me. But hey man, you know, hey, that might be my friend doing the day around, man, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um or it could be an angel, you never know. You know, angels could transparent to anything, man. But uh it says in thy mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant, man. So the Lord gonna destroy all you two third niggas, all you Edomites, all all you heathen nation. The Lord gonna destroy y'all if y'all afflicting the Lord's prophets, man. Right? What the Lord said, do my prophets no harm, man. And that's what y'all doing. Y'all giving us trouble in the flesh. Y'all give it cause we want we really want to put hands on, on you niggas and you eating right. So we be really want to put hands on y'all, but we understand that we gotta keep spirit, keep keep uh remain in the spirit. And not only that, the Lord said, Don't take revenge for vengeance is mine, roughly paraphrasing, man. So we're gonna give it up to the Lord. We're just gonna put curses on your ass, man, and let the Lord deal with you accordingly, man. Cause we ain't gonna do it. We want to. Now if it came down to the point where we ain't got no choice, then yeah. But as far as just you just running your mouth and shit like that, hey man, we're gonna just put curse on you and leave it at that, man. But if you put your hands on it, then that's a different story, man. You know, we it like the elders, uh, like the elders apostles, a great millstone always said, we ain't no damn quiet or the other two, if I can we ain't no damn quiet boys, man. You know, hey man. We ain't no little no no damn Christianity pastor where you know, they try to use the scripture. Uh turn the other cheating the old nigga. We ain't doing that, man. You know, we're gonna put hands on you, man. Not saying in it, not saying it, not saying it in that way. But you know we're gonna defend ourselves, man. You know we're gonna defend ourselves at the end of the day, man. We're gonna let you just put your hands on us, man. You know. So with that, we're gonna end it. Brakat the Yahweh, brakat the Yahweh Shah, brakat the Yahweh, brakat the Yahweh Shah. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rechakudash. Shalom to next time. Shalom.